Um, there's a tiger out here. Hello? Oh, they're sleeping, but we just woke up. How are they sleeping? Ah! Why is there a tiger in the hallway? Um, the tiger escaped, right? And it was going to get mommy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. He goes quiet when there's a camera on. Oh, uh, yeah. Have fun with that. Good morning, everyone. I haven't done a get ready with me for a while, but um, I got a lot of um, people asking me how I did my makeup the other day. And it's basically how I do my makeup every day. So here we are. Um, I just finished washing my face, which in the morning usually just means rinsing it off with water and um, now I am using the C Firma Oh no, this is going to be a little harder than I thought C Firma <laughs> um, Day Serum by Drunk Elephant and it's like this thick orange-like vitamin-like liquid and I like to put that on my skin first so if you hear my husband or son they're right in the other room so that's why i put like um and that's my dog i put a moisturizer type of toner just a little bit because it spreads pretty good um i have combination skin but i like to put moisturizer on because um, I have some like rough patches here and here and mm, so far it works for me and then I've been using this Clinique Moisture Surge and I just take a little bit and add that onto my skin and that's basically the skincare that I use for the mornings um, for now really depends on how my skin feels every day Okay, so then getting into the makeup part. Um, my new recent fave is this sunscreen by Goop. As you can see, let's see if it'll show you. It is, see, it's clear. So it kind of also feels like it could be um, a base, like a makeup base, and it doesn't, See, it doesn't come off white or anything, which is really nice. So, I put it, I start off with the highest parts of my face. My son is running around. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can hear him or not. And then I just get my neck area like this. Okay, so that's a sunscreen. I try to put powder sunscreen throughout the day, but sometimes just can't do it and then recently I've also been using the super goop um, CC cream this doesn't have a lot of coverage it just has SPF and a little bit of color there's there's a tint to it but it's not it's not much I'm kind of using it just to kind of <laughs> get rid of it but so far it works for me because it's just easy to apply and I don't like to wear too much foundation this is like my everyday. Today I'm going to go work at the store and I have to look somewhat put together because it is a busy day. Then I just take my blending. I don't know where my, I think my son took my, uh, my beauty blender, but yeah. When I have a little bit of time, I use a, a brush. When I don't have any time at all, I just kind of do it by myself with my hands. Now I have this It Bye Bye Under Eye and I put it on the palm of my hand because it's warmer so it warms up the concealer and it can get, it's easier to blend. So then I just kind of pat it under my eye like this. I don't really need to go all the way under but just under my eye. And then I just keep patting it in. Patting and then I pat it around my 
What about my eyelid? Hi, buddy. Sorry, hold on one minute. I feel like the color changed, but yeah. Just keep patting. Patting, 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 patting. Just a little bit of, do you see how much just like a little bit of concealer goes a long way with this one? So yeah. Um, I do sometimes just blend the bottom and my eyelids. And this is super easy and this is what I do every single day nowadays because I just don't have time. See how he keeps coming to the door? Um, and then my favorite Laura Mercier um, brightening powder number one. Just put it here onto the lid. I should probably need a little more on that. Take a little bit on the brush and set my makeup. And then I have a, I have a smaller brush. Sorry you guys, I need to wash my brushes. And I just kind of push it under my eye like this. Because for me, I get a lot of creases under here with my concealer. So I like to set it and also just push a little bit on top of my eye. Perfect. Mm, brush should be good until the afternoon. All right, so my base is basically done. And then I have this little Hoola um, bronzer. <laughs> and I take the same brush that I used and I kind of just go like around my eye, just a little bit on my nose. So it gives me a little bit of color like this. Just a little like sun color. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very subtle, but I've been liking it. And then when you add just a little bit of blush to it, it just looks nice and natural. Okay, so recently I've been using the Fenty Beauty blush. This is the Kilowatt Girl Next Door, but this is really shiny. So today I'm gonna go back to the original Blissful, a Tarte. Um, one, I kind of like it when there's a little bit of an orange tint to my cheeks. So then I take the brush and just top of my cheeks. That's it. That's about it. And that's, that's that. So then, moving on to my eyes. Recently, it's been super easy because I'm just obsessed with the Bobbi Brown Camel eyeshadow. I've had this for a while. This is actually my second one. Um, I've been using it for a very long time. And I have my Sephora Rounded Crease number 13. And basically, I another mirror. I pat it onto my eye. And then I kind of just let it like that instant color and then I get a little bit under and you don't need a lot too it's, it loads up fairly easy so pat on the color and then blend it see you gotta be careful because if you let the brush use the whole brush then it, you get like a, a panda eye. But yeah. And then I just like to pat just a little bit more, just a little heavy on the ends. And blend. Another thing that I do do is, um, if this isn't blending well for me, then I take just like a, a small blending and I kind of brush it out. If the lines are too harsh. Today seems to be pretty good. And so the other day, I did take my uh, Lorac Pro to go, and there's this color called Chai. It has like a shimmer to it. And I just basically laid it to like the closest part of my eyelid. That's all I did. 
simple, subtle, and that's the way I like it. <laughs> Next is my eyebrows. So I'm gonna just like figure out my eyes in a minute. Um, my eyebrows. I've been using the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil and chocolate. So I like to brush my brows in the opposite way to kind of get whatever foundation or CC cream that I put on off. As you can see, my brows are not even. So um, you just take this and fill the back ends first. And recently I've been trying to do it really soft, not too defined because I feel like it's easier to maintain throughout the day like that pretty easy this is the problematic brow that I have to fill in more space that sound is my dog by the way <sighs> this one tends to be a little darker at times because I need to fill it in a little more than this one, but so far so good. So then after I do that, I go to my trusty boy brow. Like you can't even see, it's Glossier boy brow and I don't like to use too much. So I try to take off a lot of it right there and then what i do like to do sorry it's still too much is from the center i kind of just lift up like this and it creates more of a fuller brow you see it and same with this one that's why i only fill in the ends on the other side i only fill the ends <laughs> on the ends and then the center part, I fill it in with boy brow. You know? Sorry, the light is darker on this side for sure. But it seems to be pretty good. It just looks darker because of the light. Um, yeah, and then uh, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. Let's see, I like this. I'll just do this side so it's easier for you to see, but I just line the ends like this. You see it? It's kind of hard. And then I just turn the brush around. Uh oh, what was that? Is it hard to tell? It's hard to tell with the light. But yeah, this is a small little cat eye, like that. It's really hard to tell with this light. Sorry, you guys. Um, but I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So today, or what I have been using, doing, is not going all the way, but just at the ends. And then winging it out. That is basically it. Um, so I'm let, while I'm letting that dry, I put some lip some chapstick on and then for my eyes it's been the same the Dior primer with the better than sex Too Faced mascara which is I think it's a dupe for this the dupe for this is the Revlon volumizing but as you can see I haven't tried it yet it's still in the package but I'm almost done with this because it's starting to get clumpy and that's when you know Oh, so another thing is, I only add the primer to the latter half of my lashes because I want them to be a little bit longer and fuller there. Um, yeah, I feel like they aren't as long as before because I haven't been doing a lot of treatment like I was before. Before, every night, I would put some oil on my lashes, some castor oil, and I haven't been doing that, and I feel like they're not doing so well. So yeah, as you can see, I like to add more on the ends. 
I think it adds more to the cat eye, but I haven't been using an, a curler either because I kind of like the way my lash, lashes naturally curl. So I've just been leaving it like that. You see, sometimes I take another um, mascara. This, I don't even remember where this is. This was a gift. Um, Drama Luxe Conditioning Fiber Gel Mascara. But um, I just take something that's not as heavy and I add it just to the outer bottom lashes. Very subtle, but my hair all I did was blow dry it straight and I just took a curling iron which I have to do again and all I did was take the iron like this and actually take it like this and go like this and then it creates like a a very natural curl and then I let it cool a little bit and I pull it and it's done. So yeah, this has been my go-to makeup for a while. Let me see. Oh, the light's way better this way. Sorry, you guys. So yeah, this is my look. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I apologize. But um, my camera says it took me 15 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, normally it's a little bit slower. Uh, not slower, faster. Because um, I do have a son that's like climbing up on me and trying to get out the door. But yeah, this is my look. All right, thank you so much for watching till the end. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And um, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. I am still wanting to do the skincare routine, so I'm gonna get to that very soon. But yeah, uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I will see you very soon.